Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Semi, um, and welcome to my first YouTube video. So when I was thinking of ideas of videos that I should film, I wanted to do something simple. And because my sorority sisters have been really supportive with this whole makeup hobby and, you know, supportive on Instagram and encouraging me to start a YouTube channel, I only thought that it was, you know, right to kind of give them a shout out through this video. And I know I graduated, but recruitment just started up at my alma mater at Brandeis University at Sigma Delta Ta. Um, so I figured this would be a great time to film this look and hopefully, uh, you know, can help some of you guys out, whether you're a sister starting recruitment or you're a new rush, uh, just started college and going through it. I wanted to create this look. And before I get into it, I just want to say that my sorority was really amazing, some of the best years of my life, but I don't want you guys to feel like you can only wear this look if you're going through recruitment. Obviously, this is a great look for everyone. Um, and above all, makeup is makeup, it's for fun. If you think this is too much, don't wear it. Be yourself during recruitment, that's all I can say. Um, the best thing you can do for yourself is to find girls that you truly get along with, um, not just to go through recruitment and you know try to fit in. Be yourself, and if you find girls that you mesh with, that's the whole point, um, and that's what'll make college the best experience of your life so i hope you guys enjoy thank you so much for watching um yeah thanks okay so i have already filled in my eyebrows uh and i've used the nyx micro brow this is a great dupe for the anastasia brow wiz um and i'm using the shade taupe and i've also primed my skin with the maybelline master prime I use the blur and smooth one, but I also really enjoy the blur and illuminate. These are some of my favorite primers regardless of being from the drugstore. Um, so I've already used this. And to top off those brows, I'm going to use my L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper. This is in the clear shade. I had the light medium, um, and I also really liked that one, but I don't recommend it if you have darker hair because it does come off a little light so i would recommend this one this is a great product um also a great dupe for the anastasia clear brow gel i'm going to go in with my foundation and this is one of my favorite foundations now from the drugstore it's the milani conceal and perfect two in one i'm in the shade 03 light beige um funny story so when i first tried this out i hated it i really didn't like it and i realized it was because i was using um too much of it so a little does go a long way if you use um too much it can end up looking pretty cakey um but it really is one of the best foundations from the drugstore if you you know go in with a light hand it gives a lot of coverage it's not drying but it's great i feel for oily skin um it doesn't make me more oily throughout the day um when i did go in with a lot though it it caked up so you have to be really careful with this stuff um i'm using the artiste oval 7 brush you don't need this i just got this as a gift and i'm trying it out i normally use my Real Techniques, what is this? It's the buffing brush, and this is great to apply foundation, so that's a great option. You can get that at Ulta, um, and you can get it at some CVSs and things like that. Um, I think this is a great foundation for people with oily skin. The only thing is that there really isn't a great color selection in this foundation, so if you can't find your shade, I would suggest another one of my absolute favorites, not even from the drugstore, just in general, is the Maybelline um, Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I love that foundation. Uh, I will be repurchasing it. I think I've already bought like three bottles. Um, I just don't have my shade right now. I only have my winter shade, so I need to pick that up. After going in uh, with a foundation brush, I always like to take a damp beauty sponge. This is the Beauty Blender, a great dupe for this um is the real technique sponge from ulta um but after going in with the brush i always like to take a damp beauty sponge and just lightly tap over that foundation 
because it really helps give that flawless finish. If you go in just with the Beauty Blender, um, like you apply your foundation with it um, instead of with the brush, you'll get a little bit of a sheer coverage, which is why I like doing this. Apply it with a brush, get that full coverage you want, but then go over it with this sponge and you'll get that airbrushed look that you're looking for. Now I'm just gonna go in with some concealer um, and I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Age Rewind in the shade Neutralizer. So I just put a little bit under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, a little bit on the chin, and just a little bit on the forehead, and I'm gonna put it on my eyes just to cover up some of those veins. I know this looks like a lot, but I went in with a really light hand. And once we go in with a beauty sponge to blend it out, it's gonna look really light. So don't be scared. I like doing this just because it makes you look more awake. So if you had an event later the night before, or you're waking up early in the day and you just wanna look more awake, or you had a long day of classes and you're going to a recruitment event later in the day, you still wanna look awake. So this really helps with that. Now I'm just gonna take some of that Cody Airspun powder again. Take just a little bit of it. And go onto my eyelids just to set that concealer, make sure it doesn't crease. This is probably, I think, one of the only high-end products that I'm going to be using, and it's because I just can't find anything comparable from the drugstore. Um, this is optional, but I think it really gives the skin a beautiful glow. It's the Josie Marin Argan Enlightenment Illuminizing Wand. What you do is just put it onto the high points of my cheeks, blend it out a little bit with my finger. I am going to be going over this with a powder, which is also a not drugstore. Um, but that, again, is completely optional. I just like going in with this method because I think it really just makes it look the most natural, as natural as a highlight can look. Um, and then I'm also going to go over it with that damp beauty sponge to really press it into the skin. So I only took the highlight on the high points of my cheeks. I didn't take it on the bridge of my nose. Um, that's where I'm going to be putting the powder highlight. The reason I do that is because I do have oily skin, especially in my T-zone. So I don't want to add another cream product on my nose because that's just um, not going to serve me well later in the day. So I like to keep that dewiness on the sides. Um, and now, again, I'm sorry, this is the last high-end product that I will be using today. It's the Tarte Exposed Highlight. I love this product, I just got it. I've been using it and I really like the consistency. It looks really natural, but also a great highlight. And what I've been doing is instead of going in with a brush, I take my damp beauty sponge and I press it in and I take that and put it on top of that cream stick highlight. And again, it just makes it look more natural, but it also amplifies that highlight from the illuminating, illuminizing stick just a little bit more, but it also sets this highlight so it doesn't budge throughout the day. It stays glowy. Taking some of this onto the bridge of my nose, I'm just gonna draw a line on the bridge with a small pencil brush and then a small little dot. And then taking my finger and just blending this out. Now I'm going to bronze up my face, slight contour, with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. I have the shade, which is Caramel Toffee. They have another one which is Dulce de Leche, and that one's a little bit lighter. The contour shade is less warm than this, so that would be a perfect contour shade. I got this palette for the yellow banana colored powder, um, but I actually adore using this brown um, as a bronzer. I think it's great, and it's a really good dupe 
for the Marc Jacobs contour palette. I know they have something similar and the size is amazing. You're, it's going to take you a while to go through this. And I'm using this flat kabuki brush. I actually got this from TJ Maxx. Um, and it's a great dupe for a Tarte brush. Um, they have something very similar for about four times the price. I got this probably for about five, six bucks from TJ Maxx. Um, a lot of their brushes are actually really great um, and they're affordable. So I just take something, a, a brush that looks like this, put it on the sides of my cheeks the sides of my temples, run it up a little bit on my forehead just to get that bronzed glow. And I'm not really contouring, um, but because this brush has this shape, it does give a little bit of definition. And then later I'm going to go in with some of my translucent powder and just clean up the edges uh, just to sharpen it up a bit. But I'm not going with any, you know, cream contouring looks. Because that can be a little harsh for the day. And I don't think you need it. Especially if you're going, you know, for a pretty kind of recruitment look. You want to just look healthy. Now I'm going to go back um, into this Butter Bronzer from Physician's Formula. And because we're going for a really natural look, um, nothing crazy, um, I'm going to be using this as my eyeshadow. It's gonna look very natural and not like you have anything there but it'll give you a little bit of definition in that crease now to finish off the eyes I'm just gonna curl my lashes and add some mascara oh before I uh, put some mascara on I'm just gonna lightly line my upper eyelid no wing nothing crazy just to add a little bit. Now that I have that um, NYX eyeliner on, I'm going to go in with my mascara. I'm going to start with the L'Oreal Luminous Primer. Uh, I just started using this and I really like it. It really does make the mascara go on thicker, which I love because I love wearing falsies, but for a natural look like this, it's just nice to go in with just a little bit of mascara. Now on top of that, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Lash, Lash Sensational Mascara. This is a great dupe for the Benefit Roller Lash. And I'm going to go ahead and use that same mascara on my lower lash line. I'm just going to go back in with that Cody Airspun Powder and clean up the edges of my bronzer like I said I was going to do. I'm taking this Sonia Kasha contour brush. You can find this at Target. It's a little bit on the expensive side. You don't need it. Again, this is an extra step I like to do. Just wipe the excess of that away. Now for blush, I'm going to go in with Milani's Powder Blush in Romantic Rose. This is a really beautiful color. It's like a rosy mauve sort of shade. So it looks really natural. Just a hint of pink. A hint of rosiness on the cheeks. Now that we have the majority of our face done, I'm going to go in with the last step, which is the lip. I'm going to give you guys two options. Um, the first is a really simple nude a glossy lip. So I'm going to go in with the Milani Easy Liner. It's retractable in the shade Most Natural. I love the shade. I get compliments whenever I wear it. And I'm going to top that off with this Catrice Infinite Shine Lip Gloss. Oh, the shade Rose Would You. So for my second lip look, I'm going to go in with something a little bit more pinky. It's still really natural, but gives a little bit of a pop of color. So I'm going to start lining my lips with the ColourPop Contempo Lip Liner. I love this color. I'm going to top it off with a NYX Soft Matte Cream in the shade San Paolo. And to finish off the look, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus uh, setting spray. I have gone through two bottles of this already. I am definitely going to repurchase it. I love it. It's very comparable to the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray, but I actually like the mist on this a lot more. 
so that is the completed look. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to go bolder with a brighter lip, go ahead if you think this is too much, remove some steps. This is just what I think um, is such a pretty recruitment look and I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching.